trip to the grocery store is an easy way to integrate math practice into your everyday life. So try bringing a recipe to the store and have your child determine how much of each ingredient needs to be purchased. You can have them adjust to the recipe to make more servings or less servings. Or have your child figure out the best deal on each item on the grocery list using a coupon or just by comparing brands and prices. Children can practice weighing produce and hone their estimation and measurement skills using the scale and the price per pound to determine an approximate cost of the produce. If you bring paper and pencil to the store, you can have your child keep a running estimate of the total cost of the items in your cart. And depending on their age, they could either be rounding to the nearest whole dollar amount or nearest five or $10 amount. For weekly and biweekly purchases like toilet paper, paper towels, bottled water, etc., children can help determine usage at home and then help decide how much to purchase during each grocery trip. So if you're planning a party, event, or get together, you can get your child involved in helping figure out how much of each food item or um, paper plates, napkins, etc. that you need. So if you're expecting 10 guests, but a particular snack or item comes in packs of four, you can ask your child how many packs should be purchased. So these types of ambiguous, real world situations that don't have a cut and dry answer help your child develop a better sense of numbers and to appreciate how math would help in an everyday situation.